Oh, Castro Nevis. Who has one fast race car right now for a driver to do that. Boy, is he ever confident of the ability of his car. Goes around the slower traffic of Sarah Fisher. Jack, what's going on? Well, oh, no, another crash, and it's upside down. We've got a car upside down. It's Marco Andretti. Two cars at least involved in this. Buddy Rice as well. Buddy was taken out last year in a crash okay? with Elio. This year, a crash with Marco. And Marco, you okay? Let's listen. He's talking yeah. to the Delphi safety team. Now, in a crash like that, he's taken the antennas off the car. The radio probably got dislodged at the front as we watch Buddy Rice hop out of his dryer and Reinbolt machine. But you don't want to see your teammate go out, guys. But you have to know that Dario Franchitti right now, even before he knows who the, who's involved in the crash, you got to think that he knows that he, this is just going to work in his favor. Buddy Rice was running, I think, 12th at the time of this crash. And, of course, Marco Andretti was in the top 10. We saw Marco moving in the car. He looks like he's conscious, looks like he's okay. Safety crew to him right now, and Grandfather Mario looking on, concerned. So there's some uh, damage on Dan Weldon's car that looks like they're working on at the nose of his car. He's in pit lane. Mario concerned, and Marco has yet to climb out of this race car. The Delphi safety crew, I've had this in my career. They are so good. The same people travel with you to each and every event throughout the country. Also, when we race in Japan, they know each in individual driver. They know the history of the driver if he's had any crashes, in my case, a broken back. So if you ended up in another accident, they're much aware of that. And in this situation here with Marco, they will take extra care to make sure they remove him cautiously and have him checked out at the infield hospital. And if there's anything else that concerns him, he'll be taken down to Methodist Hospital. Well, looks it looks like, like he's got the helmet off. You can see him right in there. He's talking to him. So uh, it looks like Marco's OK. Grandpa can breathe again. Marty's just had a big crash. He had to get it, catch his breath, let everything come back to him. He took his time getting up out of the car, and the safety team is really taking their time with him. We're glad to see he's okay. He's walking away, disoriented a little bit. He just went upside down at over 220 miles per hour and survived it. The cars are so safe. It's just incredible how safe these Indy cars are and what they can survive, Scott. You can see the damage in the front nose of the car, the grass from when it caught, caught and flipped them actually over a couple of times. Just a little bit sore. So the man who finished second last year as a teenager will not finish his second Indy 500. And that's his uh, mom on the right, sister Marissa on the left. He's okay, guys. I know it's frightening. It's never fun to see a family going upside down, as Rusty said, 220 miles an hour. This is our 10th caution as we take another look at it. A lot of cars in the back, everybody weaving back and forth. And there you can see Marco Andretti went from being on the right-hand side of the track for us and started to move across and ended up starting to catch some wheels, probably with Buddy Rice, Rusty, and that was enough to actually start the chain reaction for the cars crashing. Well, Scott, I want to see this replay again because it looks like he got across the front of the red car back there. I don't know exactly who that was. Let's take a look at this one more time. That's some damage also to Dan Weldon's car, probably the first car that he went across in front of. Remember, we saw Dan Weldon's car in the pit lane being repaired. Now, here we go now. He's cutting across, just touches Dan Weldon's car. That's on the right-hand side. Breaks Dan Weldon's left front suspension. Dan Weldon goes off to the left-hand side very quickly. And here we ride along with Dan Weldon. This is turn two. Back on the gas. Remember, everybody's very anxious. Only a few laps left here. And watch the left-hand side of your screen. He's going to get squeezed over. Marco doesn't know he's there. And the contact happens. Marco just did not see Weldon. Got across the front of him. That was it. And it's raining, guys. Dario Franchitti's leading this race. The rain's pouring down right now, Marty. And it looks like Franchitti's strategy, as you take a look from Marco. And you see from his onboard, Whoa. Up and over. And as you said, Rusty, good reason to get out of the car very slowly. 
If Fran Keaty's got enough fuel to make it to the end, guys, which I believe he does, he said he can go to lap 177. We're at 160.